what's good guys welcome back to lion mark tv so this video i'm about to play for you now is about former nigerian president good luck a billy jonathan you guys know how he did only his first tenure and you know he could not go back as um for his second tenure he, he now handed over office to um muhammad Buhari. now he had an interview section with um this very popular channel and yes they asked him a lot of questions for the first time in, in a long while, this is like after um, eight years, eight years or more, that all of these things he's saying now happening. He's talking about how the Americans, the U.S. government, were fully involved in the election and how they were able to succeed, you know, to forcefully, you know, take over power from him. This is another way to tell you that one way or the other, our colonial masters are still ruling us one way or the other in this country there is no two ways about that but the video you're about to watch now he break down details why how and everything that happened during that period and it, but a lot of questions have been coming up that why is it that he has to take this very long time before saying this well nobody knows his reason but if you know maybe you can drop that as a comment listen to the video don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below level of interference by the America, Obama's government was very overwhelming. It's not as if I couldn't have won the election even with that. But if, by my own thinking, and also the way some of that will look at it, they go outside the normal diplomatic relationship, then it should be mentioned. Sending that person to Nigeria at the eve of election, after Obama even issued a statement directing Nigerians to vote for the next chapter, that tells you something. And we should not sweep this things under the carpet. If a foreign country, whether African country or even America or any other country, interferes with our own elections, we should mention it. Immediately the Chibok issue came up. We expect Nigerians to be concerned. How do we get these girls out? Within a couple of days, we saw people going to the US would bring back our girls' placards. How? Why? And of course, uh, the Mrs. Obama received one of those placards. I cannot take responsibility for the abduction. I don't control Boko Haram. They are criminals. But as a president, of course, you know, it's not the president that go to the field. You have uh, security and intelligence officers that do the work. Let me admit that, yes, maybe they do their best, but their best was not good enough for us to recover the girls. That does not mean that I'm trying to remove myself from any blame. Yes, I may not be blamed for the action, but I could be blamed that my security and intelligence system are not strong enough to be able to rescue. 